Hi, uh, today I wanted to show you all how to add glow to certain objects in your scene because usually the bloom in Unity usually allows you to add glow to every single thing and sometimes you don't want that so yeah I'm going to be showing you how to add glow to certain objects not all of them. First I go ahead and create a cube let's call this one white cube and then we're gonna create another cube as an example and let's call this glow cube. For this to work, you're going to have to go to window, you're going to have to go to package manager and in unity registry from here, you're going to have to go to universal under pipeline and click install if you don't have it installed already. So this is basically going to give you the post processing and all that stuff that you could use to add glow to certain objects in your scene. Usually the case is that glow is added to all objects, but here we can make it so that glow is only added to certain objects. Now that you have that ready, we could go ahead and create a new folder. Let's just call this game. Inside this folder, we could go ahead and create some URP assets. First, we'll go ahead and make a pipeline asset. Let's just call this URP asset. This is gonna give you two stuff and you're gonna have to go here, rendering again, and create a forward renderer. All right, there you go. And then you're gonna go to edit, project settings, graphics. You're gonna drag your URP asset in there and boom, there you go. Just like that, you'll see that most of the things in your scene turn pink. And this is usually because the material is no longer a URP material. It's just standard. You need to give it a lit material. To change that, we could easily just go to edit, render pipeline, universal render pipeline, upgrade project materials to URP materials and proceed. All right. If uh, the changing doesn't work, you could just go ahead and create new materials for your objects. Anyways, now we could go to uh, go all the way in our hierarchy, click on volume, global volume. Let's call this post processing. After you call, uh, do that, you just create a new post processing profile, add overwrite. And the one you're going to be looking for is bloom and you're going to enable, I'm just going to enable all. I'm going to set the intensity to something like like one and the reason it's not working is because we don't have post processing enabled in our camera click that go to post processing and there you go the bloom is yeah yeah you, you can tell but we're gonna set it to something like 0 0.1 so that it's barely noticeable you can't even see it at this point and the reason to this is because we're gonna be going here creating our own material and let's call this one glow material since we all know white is the object that glows the most when you add bloom, let's change the color of it. Let's turn this to orange. Give this to our glow cube and you'll see this emission thing. Click on that, change the color according to your liking and add intensity to it. I'm going to set mine to five and just like that, you can grow certain objects in your scene. Right now we have orange as glowing, but that's not a, you can add it to particles too. For example, if I go to particle system, let's call this particle. And let's give the material over here. Let's go here, assign the material and it's going to glow. It's going to glow like everything else. So yeah, that, that's basically how you make certain objects glow. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe and yeah, I'll see you in the next one.